from a freakishly athletic big man in the NBA to an extremely goofy villain in the WWE. Dwight Howard is getting closer to becoming a wrestling star, and it totally makes sense. Dwight Howard still hasn't signed an NBA contract for the next season, but that doesn't necessarily mean bad news, especially if you're a WWE fan. The 36-year-old spent the last season with the Los Angeles Lakers, and after 18 years in the NBA, it's safe to say his days in the league are limited whether he resigns with the Lakers or any other franchise. While his plans for the future are not set in stone, Howard gave his fans a pretty huge hint about his career going forward. The eight-time All-Star and former NBA champion was recently seen at WWE's SummerSlam tryout session in Nashville, Tennessee. Howard's chosen alter ego for the occasion was Shonuff, also known as the Shogun of Harlem. The villain from the 1995 cult classic martial arts comedy, The Last Dragon. The showman we've been lucky to experience as NBA fans for almost two decades now didn't surprise anyone as he put on a show and stayed in character the whole time. His surprise appearance made all of the buzz, especially because he did it in front of Paul Triple H Levesque and other WWE scouts. That's one way to make sure you're serious about joining the WWE, as Levesque is the executive vice president for talent relations and head of creative for WWE. Howard's love for WWE goes a long way back, and that's not even the first time he met Triple H. Back in 2015, after he made an appearance in a SmackDown episode in Houston, Triple H had this to say to the big man, you want to get in the ring, just give me a call. Looking at how things turned out recently, the offer must still be standing. Once Shonuff was out and he was Dwight Howard once again, the veteran shared his excitement and passion for the organization. I think it's something in my future. I love the WWE. I love wrestling. Hopefully one day in the future, I'll actually be in the ring, wrestling and holding up a belt. Dwight Howard. Although he still hasn't signed a contract, there's no doubt that Howard still has a place for himself on an NBA roster. But if for some reason it doesn't happen, he seems ready for a new adventure and we can't think of a better fit. Dwight Howard might be the latest baller to try his hand out on WWE, but he's definitely not the only one. Trey Young was among the latest to appear in a WWE event. Although he didn't wrestle like Howard intends to do so in the near future, this was a perfect opportunity for Ice Trey to appear in Madison Square Garden, as he's one of the ultimate villains ever seen in the building. The Ball family was another famous NBA sighting in WWE, too. Lonzo Ball was on the verge of getting drafted back then, and LeVar Ball didn't want to miss any opportunity to hype his firstborn son. Although Father Ball ripped his shirt to reveal a rather sad body for a wrestler and LaMelo dropped the N-word, Lonzo's performance at the event was unexceptional, to say the least. Luckily for fans of both sports, though, we had better, and we mean way better, experiences with other NBA players. Dennis Rodman was one of the best to ever do it. Maybe because he was BFF with a legend in the business, Hulk Hogan. Rodman's career in wrestling was surprisingly long and successful, but without a doubt, the Worm's best came in 1998. That was when he famously skipped practice while the Bulls were getting ready for a finals game against the Jazz, and Rodman was with Hulk Hogan on the TV show Nitro with Hulk Hogan. They didn't name him the menace for nothing, did they? This wasn't the only gift Rodman gave to wrestling, though. He convinced Carl Malone to wrestle, too. The mailman's good friend and fellow wrestling star Diamond Dallas Page thought a matchup between Malone and Rodman would be cool, so he helped push Malone toward the idea too, resulting in one of the best NBA WWE mixers ever. Man, Dennis Rodman was truly this gift of a man that kept on giving. What Dwight Howard's future holds is pretty much guesswork for everyone. But if this episode proves one thing, it's that we don't need to worry about anything as long as D. Howard the showman is active. Who knows, maybe he'll even top off Rodman in the coming days.